Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 12 of the daily scripture writing, which is Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 15. And so before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, you can find this list. We're focusing on the month of true love. By Rachel Wojo, W-O-J-O. -O. I hope I'm saying it correctly. If not, I'm probably butchering that last name. But it's a Bible reading plan. And if you type in her, true love and her name, it should come up for you. So again, Deuteronomy 10, 12, 15. And again, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. So let's begin. Yesterday we were focused on Psalms 14, um, Psalms 136, 14 through 26. His love endures forever. Now today we're going to be speaking of fear the Lord. So again, it's verse Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 15. So it's not much, so not even a long time. And now Israel. What does the Lord your God ask of you? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in obedience. Okay. God asks to fear the Lord and to walk in obedience to him, to love him, to serve him, serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. And to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good. To the Lord your God belong the heavens, even the highest heavens, the earth and everything in it. Yet the Lord set his affection on your ancestors and loved them. And he chose you, their descendants above all the nations, as it is today. So what is this verse telling me? That God's asking us to be obedient, to love him, to walk in obedience, to serve the Lord with all of our heart and soul. So you cannot ask for a better verse than that because literally he's just asking for us to love him. You know, he's done so much for us. That's the least we can do for him is to love him, to trust him, to walk with him, you know, in obedience. I love that. That's like... That is true love. He did so much for us. That's the little he's asking of us. You know, he's asking. God asks of you, but to fear the Lord. Your God, you know, so... That is, I like reading things like this because now that you're older, you understand more of it. Like you observe it. That's where the soap method comes in. Your scripture. We're reading the scripture. Okay, so we're done with it. Now we're observing the scripture. We're applying the scripture to our life and then we pray about it. So, I mean, you can't ask for a better uh, you know, journaling, you know. I talked about yesterday, like, as a kid, how you write in your diary, and it could be something little. And then you, as an adult, probably still write in your diary. But I don't. I basically journal write. I love to Bible, you know. I love to Bible. I love to Bible journal. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, I love to Bible. Like, yeah, I do love the Bible, but I love to journal. Yeah. 
And I think that's a love for when you had in school, like you always loved to write. If you were one of those kids that did. The teacher would be like, write this a hundred times. And I'd be like, okay. But it just, I don't know, it sank with me with pen and paper. I've always had a planner. My mom's always bought me some kind of generic planner. We didn't get one in school when we were younger. Like, I guess that was just after we left school, maybe. I don't know. But I never got a planner in school, in high school or grammar school. And nowadays, these kids are getting planners. Like, what? Something my mom used to have to buy me at the store. Um, it used to be Woolworths, and then it went to Family Dollar. And she would buy me these little $5 planners that you can put your phone in or some kind of device. And this is when I got older, <laughs> not in high school. We didn't have phones in high school. And, um, yeah, so I've always had a planner. I never scripture write because I didn't think, I never knew that was a thing until I got older. In my 30s, I think. And, or no, maybe even later than that. Yeah, I'm old. And I never knew that was, like I said, a thing until I got older. And I was watching a video of somebody, a Bible journaling video. And I'm like, there was such a thing as a Bible journaling video? But I got into YouTube because of my daughter with my birthday one day. She's like, okay, we're going to film you opening your gifts. Okay. And then she was becoming a YouTuber. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then that was my, I think my first video. And then it just like, okay, well, let's do YouTube together. So we started doing that. And then it just resonated with me, you know, to keep doing it. And now I love it. At first, you know, with YouTube, not scripturing, with YouTube. I was like, I'm not going to get no, you know, subscribers. Then I started beating my daughter in subscribers. I'm like, what? And then I'm watching videos of people scripture writing. So I started scripture writing. Well, I started scripture writing before I watched, you know, before I became a YouTuber. I started scripture writing. And then when I became a YouTuber, I, I was like, okay. I think my channel needs scripture. Like, there's an audience out there that likes the scripture writing. And I love scripture writing. Why not film it? So I used to do the decorate with me, come back and show you at the end of the month how it looked. That was in the beginning. Then I'm like, I'm going to do a weekly one. That didn't last long because I did it daily. And now it's pretty much every day I try to be consistent there's months that I can be consistent and there's months that I'm like Maserati you gotta get to your scripture but I, I like this you know the scripture here where it says and now Israel what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God to walk in obedience to him, to love him, to serve the Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul. I love that. It's like telling us what we need to do. Because sometimes in this life, you need to be told still what to do. And in a good way, not in a bad way. Love me, trust me, you know, things like that. He hasn't stirred me wrong, that's for sure. He's leading me in the right direction. And if I go in the wrong direction, that's because I chose to, not because the Lord told me to. Because he wants me to walk with the Lord, not be like, nope, I'm done. You know, I'm not doing it. So this is my scripture writing for today and my little story time.
of when I was younger. And now, how I am with scripture. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I am just writing as I go, talking to you. So I can show you what exactly I do. So again, thank you. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. So what I was writing is my little daily checklist that I do. And then on the back, I'll finish more. And I did three scripture writings today. So I will upload all three today. And it just lets me know, like, did you do this one? And when I go to put it in the computer or, you know, my phone or whatever, I know, okay, so now I got three scripture writing done today. What else should I do? And then I'll just keep going with a list on a little piece of paper. Then I transfer it to my phone. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos because I do enjoy making them for you. But I do the most thing that I get out of it. And I hope you do as well. Is not just watching me. Is apply it to your life. I hope you apply, you know, to serve the Lord. And his love endures forever. Like that will resonate with me. Because, I mean, I wrote it 26 times. So it should, right? So again, thank you. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.